So tremendous value for Tom Coughlin and the Jacksonville Jaguars at this point in the draft, acquiring a Larry Smith. Now, you're taking a page out of Joe's book because that was a beautiful segue to our next guest. Well, I should have learned by now from Joe. Well, you're sitting there by years together. Most, <laughs> through, uh, the, through the help of our sprint video uh, teleconference, let's bring in from Jacksonville Tom Coughlin, who uh, has just completed uh, his pick in the second round. And, Coach, thank you for joining us this evening. Let, let me start with, with Larry Smith. Are, are, are you surprised? to have him available to you late in this round, round two? Well, Chris, we were surprised. We were hoping that this would happen. We had watched Thornton and Smith, you know, the fall down in that round, and then Thornton went just before us. But uh, to have Larry Smith there for our pick is a great pick. You know better than we do that to make the next quantum leap, you, you, you became the champs of the division, but to go where you want to go defensively, you cannot have ranks like this. So now you've gone Larry Smith, and in the first round, uh, you picked Fernando Bryant Corner from Alabama. Can we expect more defense picked? And are you looking for a certain type of players here to change the feel of your D, coach? Well, we certainly are looking to help our defensive team without a doubt. We'd like to take another defensive back, perhaps another defensive lineman. We have a couple of needs on offense as well, but uh, certainly we'd like to address the defensive side of the ball. How will you change with Dom Capers this year? Uh, in scheme uh, on defense. Isn't it interesting you guys came in as the two expansion coaches and now he's working on your staff. It's funny how things twist. Major changes in the way you attack the ball this year, Coach? Well, I don't think any major changes in terms of the theory or the principle upon which we play. Hopefully we'll get some more uh, better players and, and keep some people on the field. Chris, we've had some injuries the last couple of years. I think it has uh, not allowed us to play to our capability. Hopefully we can address that, bring some new players in, uh, with Dom here, Dom's a great football coach. He's done it in a couple of different places defensively. We're looking forward to having him on our staff. I know he'll make an impact. Do you feel you're very close to representing the conference, uh, perhaps in the Super Bowl? I know that's a major thing to say since Denver is the champ, but do you feel you're that close, Tom? Well, we're getting there. I, I think we are a couple players away. Uh, certainly we have to be uh, at our very best, but we're trying to address the area that will allow us to make that next uh, step. We've been at a certain level for the last couple of years. We would like to get to the next level. This is how we've chose to try to go about it. I know that the folks down there are pretty happy with the schedule that came out that has Denver coming into Jacksonville late in the year on a Monday night. Uh, it's probably you've heard quite a bit about that game already, haven't you? Well, without a doubt, our toughest schedule, the toughest schedule in our history, but Denver coming here to play us uh, on Monday night certainly will be an exciting time for us. Thanks for Coach, thanks for joining us and continued uh, success uh, this evening, tomorrow, and through the year. Thanks. Good to see you. Thank you, Chris. Coach Tom Coughlin of the Jacksonville Jaguars, champs of the AFC Central. Monte Rieger, defensive end, Texas Tech, has just been selected by those Denver Broncos who pick again later in the second round. We'll be back. I was arrested for a serious crime. I was almost certain there'll be prison time. What did you do? I dialed the wolf. If you've been arrested and are facing jail or prison, dial the wolf to schedule a free initial consultation. They set up an affordable payment plan. They were very professional and aggressive in defending my rights. Now that my case is over, I highly recommend dialing the wolf. Affordable payment plans are available, so when you really need help, dial the wolf. Dial T-H-E-W-O-L-F now for your free initial consultation. Not happy with your career? Looking for a skill that makes you marketable virtually anywhere? Each year, thousands of good companies hire technicians in the fields of heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Call 1-800-884-4262 to hear how you can be trained for a good-paying career in the booming HVAC industry. Universal Technical Institute. players on the ladies tour tee it up in georgia at the chick-fil-a championship begins friday at one on espn2 In the late second round here at the 64th NFL Draft, Mel, uh, 
We've been seeing this name Cecil Collins for a while, so there's no question why he's there. Those that weren't with us earlier, obviously lots of questions off the field. Well, exactly. He would have gone higher had it not been for that. DeVries, senior year, a little injured. He would have been gone by this point. And, of course, Joey Porter, combination defensive end, outside linebacker, with a tremendous amount of athletic ability. I think you look at Doug Brzezinski, solid, hardworking guard. Sean Bryson, I like, is a fullback with a lot of versatility, comparable to Rob Conrad. Brandon Burlesworth, one of those outstanding guards, still on the board because guards do tend to drop a little further than the tackles. And Burlesworth will present good value at this point, as will Cameron Spikes from Texas A&M. If you're not worried about the injury, I think Pondexter is an interesting player, although he was hurt. We'll see if he goes soon. Get a couple of picks left in the second round. We shall, like MacArthur, return. Some people call it retirement planning. I think of this as future construction. Year by year, block by block, until... It's our dream house. Beautiful. But I was hoping we could afford to travel. This plan can help make it happen. We can even make sure you've got worry-free income for life. AXA. Dynamic vision. Equitable. A trusted resource. Call us. Equitable is a member of the Global AXA Group. Little Caesar is turning 40, and to celebrate, we're giving away free pizza. Now buy two pizzas for $11.97, get a free dessert and a free pizza on your next visit. Pizza, pizza. Ready for another scary movie? Forget that, man. Columbia Pictures presents the comedy that gives scary movies the finger. Time for the ritualistic sex. Idle Hands. Rated R. Opens April 30th. Getting the opportunity to be in Jerry Maguire, that was a real thrill. Quite a few of us auditioned for parts. Show me the money! Show me the money. Show me the money! You complete me. You complete me. Help me help you! Who's coming with me? Who's coming with me? Let's go! Who's coming with me? There were a couple of performances that really surprised them. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. What do we got? What do we got? Welcome back. We have Pittsburgh, San Diego for the first time, and Denver again, and then we'll be done with round number two. And uh, then in the third round, remember, there are just five minutes per selection. So three picks left in the second round. Mel, let's talk about Denver's uh, first of their two second round picks, Monte Rager. Full card Monte Rager, Texas Tech defensive end. You like him? I like him a lot. Productive player. You can move around. A defensive coordinator's dream. He can work at defensive end, defensive tackle. You put him on his feet at outside linebacker. All-time leader in sacks as a Red Raider with 24 and a half, 408 career tackles. Never takes a down off. I think when you look at Monte Rager, uses his hands extremely well. He's a natural pass rusher. Can change direction when he's getting after the quarterback. And uh, you have to like the productivity. And he did it against top teams, top offensive linemen top clubs in that conference. I think when you look at Monte Rager, productive all four years in that program, when you have that type of versatility, a defensive coordinator has to be excited about bringing Monte Rager into the fold. All right, so they have that pick. They've gone defense twice of the uh, the Denver Broncos. They have a pick again uh, at the end of the second round. Let, let, let's go out. Let's go out to, and I, and I know he likes the sound of this. Let's go out to the home of the Super Bowl <laughs> champion, Denver Broncos and Tom Tom, said, Tom we, we miss you here uh, two t two time Super Bowl champ oh, oh I knew there was a detail that I left that I let you fill that in Tommy defense twice uh, what can you tell us about the pick they just made in Rager and, and how Mike Shanahan and company feel about it well uh, they feel good about their pick he is a high energy kid a high motor kid I think the only uh, downside and and you know, we all uh, judge the prototypes the scouts do when they start talking about a kid. He's a little bit short, but uh, this kid has good speed, good quickness off the corner. Uh, he's exactly uh, what you described, as a, uh, Mel described, as a coordinator's dream, and I think that he will flourish here, especially with the inside people uh, that they have. But uh, as I said, Mike Shanahan had talked about upgrading the defense in terms of the depth and the speed, and I think thus far in the draft he's done that. And, and we'll continue to do that to some extent, although I think that you will also see him address the offensive side of the ball as well. Well, don't you think maybe Swain gone a tackle? Might, well, they're on the clock now coming up in the late second round. you think that maybe offensive line is a good spot here I, I, for them? I don't think that offensive line is out of the question. I think, uh, I think that when, when you watch the dynamics of how Mike works, uh, it, it lets you know why this team is a championship football team because he allows the information to be incorporated from people around him. Uh, he trusts their judgment. Uh, he, of course, makes the final decision. But 
Uh, it is a magnificent way of making the people around you feel.